What you guys got another video on how to keep your computer secure with this program I'm going to show you today called Ask Admin. Now, Ask Admin is a great way to restrict some users from accessing certain programs, services, and files and folders containing data. So you can block all of this with this program. Now, on Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro and above, you do get Group Policy Editor. If you're running Windows Home, you're not going to be able to do this with Group Policy Editor. But that is very limited also compared to Ask Admin. Ask Admin is going to allow you to block certain things just like, say, Group Policy Editor. So let me take you over to the website and I'll show you exactly what you can do uh, with Ask Admin. It's a pretty powerful little tool and uh, it can be useful. Maybe you have some sensitive uh, programs you don't want people to use or maybe you've got someone else in the family that is using your computer and you want to block them from say using discord or using a browser or something like that on that computer you can set up this with ask admin so this is the actual program here it's quite uh, in depth so we'll go through some of the features of it right now let's go ahead and get this downloaded so hit the download button there's quite a few downloads on there through adverts but you'll find the one right at the very bottom a little gray download hit that and the program should download let's go ahead and uh, get this onto the desktop so we can have a look at it so this is it right here i'm just going to drag this out actually i'll unpack it right in the downloads folder and then drag the folder out i think that'll be better just like so and uh, once we've done this we can drag this out and once we've got this out, I'll put some applications on here so I can show you it can block applications as well. OK, so let's open the application up. So we're going to drag the folder into the middle of the desktop and I'll quickly open up the application so we can take a look at it. Now, once you click on this, you might see Windows protected your PC. That's because it's an unknown publisher and uh, I have checked it on VirusTotal. It come back clean. So what we're going to do is open this up. Now, the application does look pretty basic, but it is a very powerful tool and uh, it does have a little simple menu up the up the top here, which we'll go through here on the file. We've got add file, add folder, import list, export list. So you can import your own lists. Also, we've got under the edit a bunch of little uh, settings on here and on the options. We also have the ability to block a bunch of stuff and also we can password protect the actual application so they can't open it you will need to buy for nine dollars the actual application if you want to lock it uh, other than that you can use the program so let's go ahead and uh, we'll take a look at this here so i'm going to go ahead and open up task manager here just to show you now this can all be done in the registry for free but you would have to go in there manually and do all these uh, one at a time whereas this itself can do it very quickly by uh, dragging and dropping and just remove the check mark if you want to allow it to go through. So we do have task manager open here. Now there is an area here in options where you can add a password on here and there's also add to context menu settings on here as well. I also reset Windows Explorer, but in the extras area, if you go here, you can block a bunch of stuff that's got presets in here like task manager, uh, reg edit which is your registry editor and a bunch of other stuff in here as well so let me go ahead and quickly block these and i'll show you how it works now also you can manually drag and drop stuff into this as well but we'll use the presets here first for these ones and if i just go back to uh, task manager here and try to open it you'll probably find that it's not going to be able to open task manager because it has been blocked and as you can see here by the administrator. So it's actually set all this up for us. So if you're on a home system, this is really useful. Now it doesn't matter which way you navigate to these, it will block all of them. So it doesn't matter if you go through the menu or whether you search for it or right click on the start button, it's going to block them. Even the registry editor has now been blocked as you can see here. So they won't have access to those locations. And again, you can just drag and drop stuff in here as well if you wanted to. Now, if I wanted to try and open up Edge here, I've removed the tick and I can now open up Edge, as you can see here, and it works perfectly fine. But if I put the check mark back in there, you're not going to be able to open Edge. It's going to block it. Now, you can also remove them from the list by just highlighting them and basically clicking on the minus here, and it will remove them from this list. You can move them up the order if you want to as well. And uh, we're just going to quickly remove these 
like so. You can do one at a time or you can do them all in one uh, go here. OK, let's have a look at the batch file. Maybe you want to block running of batch files here. Just drag that into there. And when you click on it, it's not going to work. It's going to be blocked. Now, it doesn't matter whether you right click and run this as administrator. It's still going to be blocked uh, because obviously we've got that policy set in place there. And if you want to remove it, you just click on it and click on the minus to remove it. Now, also, there's an area in here which will allow us to block the Microsoft Store here as well. And I'll show you how to do that. We can just go straight into extras here and block store. And this will now block the store once it's listed with the check mark there. But once I click on this again, you'll probably see that it's not going to work. It's going to say blocked by your administrator. And that's now done. To remove it, just remove the check mark and it should open up and work again. So that is the Microsoft Store. Now, also, if you've had a bunch of documents inside here, a bunch of text documents like these that have uh, invoices or maybe sensitive information in them, like so, people could just open these up and read them. But if you block Notepad, it's going to block it and they won't be able to open it and view it because obviously you've blocked that file type. So let's go ahead and go into Windows here and I'll look for Notepad and we'll quickly block Notepad by just dragging over just like so. And now we've got that dragged in from our Windows directory. If we go back to our uh, Notepad here, we can try to open it and you can see it has been blocked and it can be easily blocked just by dragging that in there just like so. And you can use that for many other different types of programs that you do want to block on your Windows system. So no more searching through the registry to try and find an actual registry key or add in a registry key to block all of these locations. You can just do them very quickly by just dragging and dropping or using the built in uh, presets here. So very quick and easy to do for people that are not familiar with the registry and things like that. Now, also, this will block programs. You just drag and drop the program into the actual box here, and you can see it will stop the program from running. Now, maybe you've got a PC and it's a family PC, and other people use that PC and you want to block them from certain applications running on that computer. You can basically drop them in here, put your password on there, and they will not be able to run that application. So, maybe you want to block them from accessing, say, Discord or something like that on that PC. You can do. Uh, but you might want to still access it or you might also want to only allow them to access it at certain times of the day where you can then uh, remove the uh, check mark by putting the password in the program. It can also block all the built in applications, which is your UWP apps, which come bundled with Windows from Microsoft. All you need to do here is highlight these and uh, basically block them and it will block them from running. So this is another good thing if you want to block certain apps. You don't want to uninstall them and destroy Windows. You just want to block them, and you can do that by just adding it in. Let's just see films and TV here, and we'll go and search for films and TV and basically see if it opens. And it won't open because we've blocked it, and there you go. And as soon as I remove that from the list, it will be perfectly fine. Now you can do one at a time, or you can block them all in one go, or you can highlight some of them, or you can just remove them by holding the shift key down and selecting which ones you do want to block. So plenty of options there available. And uh, again, there's some good stuff in here which you can block. Now, obviously, once you've got your settings done, you're going to want to put a password on it. Now, unfortunately, if you're a home user, you will need to buy a license, which is $9.99. But looking at the actual website here, uh, there is some good news. If you are running some sort of charity, or you're running some sort of school or some sort of community, you can get a license for free uh, without any restrictions. So there is that option there, uh, right there. You can see it in the green there. But if you do want to use it for something like that, and I can see it'd be well worth doing this if you want to lock down your PC uh, very easily by just dragging and dropping stuff in there. So anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. If you want to secure your PC, uh, then you can try out the Ask Admin. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.